Hello there, I'm Chef Johnny, and this is Sergio. This is Texas Style Cuisine. Appreciate you being here today. A lot of y'all know I am a uh, culinary arts teacher. Sergio was in my high school class, spent a couple of years in there with me, and now he's in college. And this semester, he is doing his internship along with me at the barbecue trailer. Learn a little bit from that. But he's got a recipe for you today, so he's going to show us how to do an anime pork roast. It's a pork roast, yes, from the anime uh, Food Wars. Okay, Anime Food Wars, and it is a gotcha pork, pork roast. roast. So stick around, let us show you how to make an anime gotcha, gotcha pork, pork roast. roast. All right, we're going to get started here. First thing we're going to do that we're going to show y'all, we've already done some stuff behind the scenes. We're going to make a bacon weave. Yes. And we're going to do about a six by six bacon weave is what we're going to do to make this gotcha uh, pork, pork roast. roast. And here's the interesting thing. It's got mashed potatoes in it. So what we've already done is, is we have cooked our, our potatoes. Sergio cooked those down. And I'll let him tell you how he seasoned them up with everything in there. But we're going to make a, uh, a bacon weave real quick because we're going to wrap that um, uh, potatoes, mashed potatoes, inside of the bacon and we're going to throw it on our barrel house cooker so he's got some nice looking bacon he picked up here today yeah it's all the way from uh, boners meat market oh boners okay so boners is a specialty meat market here in san antonio so he got the good stuff so we're, we're having the good <laughs> stuff for our, our bacon we set this over to the side i'm the assistant today all right. I'm, I'm learning with y'all <laughs> and this is a thick sliced bacon yes it's the you didn't want to go too thin on there or else it was going to break apart when you're uh, it, this, it, your it's real thick so. in, in fact we'll try to try to show you a, a close-up of exactly how thick it is i mean it's close to a quarter of an inch yeah kind of hold it let's <laughs> see where things sit in this camera maybe they'll go down some now he's done this recipe before we sampled it the other day but what we're going to do is is uh, i'm just going to show him how to do his bacon weave where it goes a little bit faster and a little bit tighter so he's taking his bacon and going every other, flip this one this way, let's go every other end, right? Mm -hmm. Big little, big little, big little, all the way down. And that's a six. Let's see, how does this come out here? Now, is that going to be enough, or are we going to need to go more than six that way? Let's see. All I right, mean, so we're, we're going to go eight pieces, eight pieces wide. Seven. Seven? Yeah. Two, four, six, eight. Oh, it's eight. Oh. We got eight. Now, to do this, the easy way that I found to do it is, is fold them back, or you, if you want to, just lay this one right here, okay? And we're going to go right in the middle, all right? But well, you can kind of see where the middle's at. Yeah. Now, what we're going to do is, is we're going to do this, okay? And fold every other one. All right, and that's where we want our next piece of bacon. Got it? Okay. Now we're going to go back over. All right. But so now, see, we can tell where that one, where that one was at. I'm just going to use this. To, so we'll fold this one up next. All right, all the way over. All right, go ahead. Put it on there. Yeah, this bacon is really, really thick. If you just got a thick slice bacon, you could do about twice as many because this is just so thick. All right, these are in. Our mashed potatoes, we, we formed them, and he's got them in, in uh, plastic, right? Wrapped them in plastic to make logs. And we stuck them in the freezer so they'd want to hold their shape and not just ooze out of the bacon real fast. So Sergio's going to run get that, and we'll get right back with you. They give you an idea of the size. We, it's a top of a butter dish is what he used, so y'all can see a butter dish. That's what he used to measure his uh, mashed potatoes. And then we rolled them up in uh, saran wrap, all right? All right? Let y'all, now these aren't, these aren't, they're not hard, but they're pretty, pretty, pretty stiff. Pretty firm, yeah. Okay. They are layered though, so um, the potato, it's potato and then cheese, there's cheddar and Monterey, uh, Monterey, Monterey mix, a uh, Mexican mix. 
Okay. And then more potato to cover it up. So it's going to have a nice little cheese filling inside. And now his mashed potatoes, he has a special seasoning in those. And what all was in that while you're doing this? It's a mushroom spice, a uh, mushroom spice mix, which consists of kosher salt, red crushed peppers, thyme, black pepper, and uh, porcini dried mushrooms. This will be better. Roll this up now. You can always trim off the excess. You can trim off the extra. We, we've got some... Uh, uh, We've got some, also some butcher's twine that we can tie this with, or skewers. So there's different ways you can do it. Right now, he's just gonna cut off the tag ends. Wrapped up, tied up. Sergio's gonna give you the next step. So we are gonna heat it in a, um, what is it? The barrel house cooker. The barrel house cooker for about uh, 400 degrees from anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes, depending on the bacon. Uh, so some bacons will cook at different temperatures and it'll get crispy. Out this is a little, this is a little thicker bacon, so it's probably gonna be a 20-minute cook at 400, but that's gonna help the the mashed potatoes, right? Yeah. Uh, so if it, if it cooks faster, it'll prevent the inside from uh, actually heating up as much and oozing out through the sides. I've already done this four times and I kind of got the practice now, <laughs> so hopefully this time it will come out better. And in the original, it was done in an oven, Yes. right? So we're smoking it. So we're doing a few different steps that they didn't have in what the original recipes that he saw was uh, in the, uh, the anime food. Food wars. Anime food wars. All right. So let's get it on the pit. We're going to get these in there. And we've decided to lay some foil down just to keep it from going through the grates and uh, cause the problems of getting it back off because it's going to be, the insides are going to be pretty soft when it comes back off. So we're going to do that. See if I can pop the lid off. Get your foil on there. All right. Set that in there. Now, good time to talk about what he elected to cook this with. It was applewood. Okay, so he's got an applewood, a Kingsford charcoal, and then we have some wood chunks, and that's what? It's a Jack Daniels, the uh, whiskey, oak. Okay, so the uh, whiskey barrel. Whiskey barrel. So we've got a whiskey barrel oak, and we've got a apple, Kingsford charcoal, and some of the Jack Daniels charcoal also. Yes. So it's going to have a lot of flavor in the smoke in here. It's in. we got the pit barrel hot. We're going to see y'all in about 20 minutes. 35 minutes in, we're going to take this, pull it off, glaze it, get it back on. We'll show you how we're going to glaze it. You got it. Gil, we got some nice color on these, and tell us about your barbecue sauce. It's a uh, Jack Daniels Honey Whiskey uh, Sweet Chili Sauce. Perfect sauce. So it's, got, it's sweet, it's got chilies on it, but it's also got honey and Jack Daniels in it. Yeah, as well as a maple, uh, a bourbon maple. Okay. It gives it a little extra flavor to that. Okay. Just gonna pour this over there. Give it a nice glaze. I think when we put these back on, we won't use the. We'll set them straight back on because they're not gonna go through now. Okay. Yeah. And not too thick. Looks like he's spreading it out pretty thin. Is that it? Yep. That should be good. All right, we're gonna get it back on there. Probably about 15 minutes. I'll just set that sauce and we'll get it off and show them to you. We just took it out of the pit and we're just uh, going to let them cool now for 10 to 15 minutes. We did glaze them for about 15 minutes, so we're just going to let them cool because they're really hot right now. I almost burned myself. <laughs> and also, when we put them back on to set the glaze, we lowered the temperature from that 400 that they were at down to about 250, 275. Uh, so it wasn't as hot during this last bit of time. So we're going to just cover these up and get them covered. We're going to let them sit here and cool off. And then once they're, they cool down some, we'll slice them up and let y'all see them. Let them rest about 15 minutes. Let's uncover them. Try this right down the middle. See how it looks. Yeah. There we that go. That's nice. Let's look at it to the camera over here. Uh, 
Now this is some serious mashed potatoes right here, I'm going to tell you. The only thing about it is it gets really messy though. <laughs> We're not careful. <laughs> Moment of truth here. Let's give it a taste. And again, that mashed potatoes are wanting to fall out of this, so be <laughs> careful. What do you think, man? Here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got mashed good. potatoes all over your face. Wipe again. <laughs> Just amazing. It's pretty wild. It's, it's, it's like a, a bacon meal with mashed potatoes and cheese. I mean, you can't, you can't hardly beat that, right? Mashed potatoes, cheese, and bacon go great together. But a wonderful flavor. It was an anime gotcha pork roast. There's no, there's no, no uh, other than the bacon, there's no pork. So I guess they call it gotcha because there ain't no meat in the center. It's mashed potatoes. <laughs> But uh, something he adapted to, to do for his video this semester, and, and Sergio's doing a great job working for us, and he's going to be an excellent chef when he gets out of school very, very soon. When do you graduate? Hopefully by next semester. Next semester. So he's got one more semester after he finishes up with me. So he's going to be doing that. He's going to be out looking for a job and trying to cook for a living. But thanks for stopping by Texas-style barbecue and cuisine. We always do appreciate it. I hope you enjoy this gotcha pork roast. That's a, from Anime Food Kitchen. Uh, food Wars. Food Wars. Anime Food Wars. Anyways, you haven't seen, I've never seen it. He's told me about it. So I'm going to have to there check it out. Y'all check it out. But remember to check out our other videos. Tell your friends and family about us. Share us on your social media. And we're going to see you down the road on Texas Style Barbecue and Cuisine. Now them boys put food away beats all I've ever seen.